CBC is one type of digital dollar that can be used by anyone. It would be issued, backed, and controlled by the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Government would fully support it. This could be used instead of current payment methods and have benefits like instant payment settlement, a way to make deals across borders, and helping more people get access to money. More than 130 countries are looking into making their own digital currencies that are backed by the government. There are already pilot projects going on in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India. As early as 2028, there could be a digital euro pilot. At the same time, the U.S. is still very far behind, even though there is more and more clear knowledge about how digital currency works. The Congress of the United States owns these words right there. Make no mistake about it. The U.S. Congress has clearly said that XRP is okay in the U.S. This isn't just for banks and investment firms. XRP can be used for both domestic and foreign transactions. This is especially true from the U.S. Federal Reserve. Why does this matter? The world shift is known to the U.S. Congress. Brazil, India, China, and other countries are working with Ripple to set up their own digital currencies that will be issued by their central banks. The U.S. doesn't want to be behind on this change. And can you guess which company they're working with? Yes, Ripple. As always, welcome back to Coins Alert, the place to go for all things XRP. Like the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have worked together to create a digital currency that can be used by all five countries. The U.S. is going in the same direction. Let me show you a video that shows how Ripple and the U.S. Federal Reserve talked about CBDCs all the way back in 2015. This history background shows that Ripple and the U.S. have been working together behind the scenes, even though Ripple and the SEC are in public disagreements. There was a good chance that Ripple would win the SEC case because of this partnership. Remember how Ripple pitched the FedNAB payment system to the Federal Reserve in 2015? The Fed released the system, but they didn't give Ripple credit for it. Hints can be found by diving deeper. The Federal Reserve talked about a possible relationship with a blockchain company that could make payments quick and easy with transaction times of only three to five seconds. The possibility of the U.S. Federal Reserve using Ripple has been brought up many times by Gary Gensler. Gensler had faith in the Federal Reserve, which added XRP and Ripple to their payment system so that it could be used for both domestic and foreign transactions. Now let's talk about current events. Riverbank has joined the FedNet payment system. Riverbank is a well-known Ripple payment partner that uses the RippleNet system. Let us break this down. This is more than just a bank. The XCurrent and XRapid services on RippleNet are used by this payment processor. For on-demand liquidity, both of these services use XRP in its ledger. Since Riverbank is now part of FedNet, it's clear that XRapid, XCurrent, and RippleNet, which are all based on XRP, will play a part. What this means is that the FedNet payment system is ready to use XRP to meet its cross-border funding needs. As a result, we can expect XRP's value to rise as its uses and benefits grow. If you own XRP and are watching this, this is good news for your investment. Adding XRP to regular banking systems is more than just a sign of how useful the coin could be. It shows how the world of global business is changing. We're seeing a paradigm shift happen as standard banking systems realize how fast, efficient, and cheap blockchain technologies like Ripple's are. Also, see Gary Gensler's support and the actions taken by banks like Riverbank afterward are just the tip of the ocean. XRP and other similar technologies will have an impact on the whole financial industry as more companies learn about them and use them. Before we go any further, I have some exciting news for my readers. I have an offer for XRP. Just do these three easy things to join in. Rate this video with a thumbs up, click subscribe, turn on alerts, and share this video with your friends and family. When we pick our lucky winner, I'll make sure these steps are followed. So good luck to everyone. When we reach 60,000 users, we'll let everyone know who won. Let's get back to the subject at hand. XRP's worth and how important it is becoming. We've talked about how the U.S. Federal Reserve is interested in it and how most people in the U.S. want to use it. But people outside of the U.S. are also seeing how useful XRP could be. Some countries like the BRICS nations and even the EEU with its digital euro project are looking into what it can do. The movies we've made on these topics go into more detail about how XRP is being used in Europe's digital euro project and the BRICS nation's CBDC. To restate our main point, the U.S. isn't just interested in XRP as a possible CBDC, which we talked about in another video. They also want to use it to make cross-border trades more efficient. This isn't just true for CBDCs. It's true for fall banking transactions, both at home and abroad. Let's look at what this means for the future value of XRP. There will be changes to XRP's value as more people use it, especially big financial institutions like the U.S. Federal Reserve. In the end, how useful a coin is, is a big part of how much it's worth. When a digital asset like XRP is added to big financial systems, it's not just about the benefits it brings to transactions right away. It's also about the trust and confidence it builds over time. Global finance is changing quickly. Digital transactions are becoming the rule. 
And people want to be able to send money quickly and cheaply across borders. Cryptocurrencies, especially ones that have been used before, like XRP, play a very important part. Support from big countries and financial institutions could be the spark that puts XRP in a class by itself. This is a very important time for businesses and fans. The way XRP is going now, with all of its support and connections, points to a bright future. But as with any investment, it's important to stay up to date, keep an eye on how things are changing, and make choices based on a lot of study. Is it possible that XRP will reach $10,000? In the crypto world, this question has been getting a lot of attention. We'll get to it soon. It's important to note that multinational organizations, especially those from North America, are becoming more interested. In the list of XRP, as the crypto world grows, digital currencies can now be found in more than 130 countries XRP is often pointed out as a leader. So how much could XRP be worth? Speculations range from $10,000 to an amazing $35,000. This is because it could play a part in global CBDC operations, which are digital currencies run by central banks. What does this mean? There's a chance that XRP could become the standard medium of exchange as more countries adopt it for international purchases. This was made clear by the executive director at Ville Hill Capital. It would be a big deal for the world's wealth to move through the XRP ledger if it becomes the standard currency used by everyone. Even though there is a lot of XRP available, its worth could go up because of how much people want it, putting it in the $10,000 to $35,000 range. These are the predictions and values for XRP that experts and fans are looking forward to seeing. Do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe if you liked the movie. Don't forget to hit the follow button and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.